Hey guys, um, so I don't really have like a formal setup today, but one of the questions I get frequently is like, what did you used to do for a job before you started staying home? And I thought that I could just like answer that question on the fly for you guys today. Um, I'm just in my kitchen and um, yeah, so I went to college for uh, writing. I did expository writing, which is basically just writing that is not um, fiction. Or poetry so I did a lot of essays and stuff I actually thought um, when I graduated college that I might want to go to graduate school to study like rhetoric um, I thought about maybe becoming a professor but then I kind of decided against that and I got more interested in marketing and communications so um, when I graduated I had trouble getting a job and I ended up moving to my hometown and I worked as a marketing manager for a map company so I never studied marketing. It's not like that was something that was in my path, but you do a lot of writing, you do a lot of communication, and um, graphics is something I was interested in. Photography was something that I was interested in. So that lasted about eight months because the company wasn't for me. Um, but I won't go into that in this video. Uh, so I ended up getting a job at a software company back in the town where I went to college. And so they were like a card services company and I started out as their marketing communication specialist. So that meant that I did a lot of their internal communications as well as their external communications. I organized newsletters, um, press releases, website stuff, um, just kind of filled in wherever they needed help. I also just helped out all the market managers. I helped with their trade show. And after about a year at that company, I actually got like a promotion and I ended up becoming a market manager for their healthcare focus and their business and industry focus areas. So with that, I was visiting clients, going to trade shows, doing more specific communications. I was working with the, the person in my old job to do like newsletter stuff. And I think I worked there for like a little over two years or something. I don't know. But it, it got to be, I think I, I mentioned in the last video, I was traveling a lot which was not my thing. And I also kind of took a look at myself one day and I was like, I never went to school for marketing. I never really was interested in marketing. And a lot of the job that I got, um, oh, sorry. A lot of the promotion job um, was like hard marketing. Like I had to provide numbers and metrics and it was not something that was my forte. So um, I feel like I'm looking all over the place. It's because I never do a video where I'm holding the camera and I'm like trying to figure out where to focus. Anyway, so I left that position um, around the time when Steven got his first teaching job and I actually, um, he had been working as a professional writing tutor at the local community college and I took his position. Um, so it was like a part-time gig, just temporary because we actually were deciding to move um, to a new area and I knew that I didn't want to get like a long-term position. Um, so I worked part-time at this community college just doing um, tutoring college kids, but they're not all kids at community college level. There's a lot of adults too, um, helping them with essays and all kinds of things like that. And that lasted only about a semester because then we moved and I did have a, a short period of time where I was not employed and it was scary because that was also a time in um, the state when a lot of people were losing their jobs and a lot of positions were being cut and one of the main employers in the area that we moved to was the um, state college. And that I thought was my best bet for employment. So back way back when I was in college, I actually worked for four years at the um, college library. I helped with their acquisitions department and their cereals department. So I was really familiar with the library setting. And so there was a position in the library um, at the state college here and it was for a reserves coordinator. So that was to basically run all of these little book lists that the professors wanted to have for their classes so that when their students would come into the circulation desk, they would have specific books that were always guaranteed for the most part to be in the library for those students. And um, it doesn't necessarily sound like a lot, but it can be crazy. Um, you have to hunt down a lot of these books. A lot of these professors are like prima donna kind of people. Um, but it was a cool job. I actually really enjoyed it. My boss was cool. Um, she's actually still one of my very good friends. 
but after a while in that job, I kind of got plucked with my marketing and communications background by the dean to become his assistant and to kind of help with like the newsletter for the libraries and being a face for the libraries. I also was like the building administrator for a while, which was kind of weird. Um, and just a whole bunch of random things. And it wasn't that I didn't really like that job, but I just felt like after a while, my personality wasn't meshing with the head. I mentioned that in my last post too. Um, and I just really didn't feel passionate enough about it to continue on um, after I had Ada. So that's when I decided to, um, I took the maximum leave that they would allow you to take through the state college, which was um, seven months, and it was, unpaid, it was unpaid. But during that time, we kind of did it as a trial run to see if I could stay home or find work, and that's when I started doing all of the freelance writing stuff. So I 